Hey friends, um, never done a whiskey video before, but I thought this would be a, the perfect occasion to do one. Uh, Yamazaki Single Malt, limited edition, 2017. Uh, I just got this stuff a few days ago, and uh, actually last week, and <clears throat> just tried it. And it's pretty amazing. Huge fan of Yamazaki. Um, but uh, this is kind of a special thing, I guess. It's a limited edition. It's a no-age statement. Um, whiskey from Yamazaki. I'm a super fan of all of their stuff. The 18-year is, is top five whiskeys that I've ever had in my life, and, and I've had a lot of different kinds. Um, I have uh, somewhere around 100 bottles of scotch in my bar right now and a lot of Japanese stuff. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I saw this. I was on vacation a few weeks ago, and I saw this kind of... I was just surfing around one night, and I saw this thing pop up, and I thought I'll buy it. And um, I had to get it shipped from de from Japan. Um, de Decanta.com was the place I bought it. Not the cheapest um, stuff in the world, but, uh, but you know, not... A, 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 you know, super crazy, but uh, so I bought a few bottles of it because you know how that you know how it goes with the Japanese with Yamazaki, especially. You don't buy something and you like it, and then you just can't get it anymore. You can get it, but it's ridiculous. I mean, the 18 I've seen places it's nowhere. I live in Austin, Texas, it's nowhere around. You can't find a bottle of it anywhere in town, and the bottles you can find online are you know five six hundred dollars a bottle now. So I thought I would buy a few bottles of this and then uh, just kind of safe keep it. Um, but I went and look up, look around YouTube, see if anybody else uh, was talking about it, and I did not find a single video on the 2017. So I thought, what the heck? I'll do a video. So anyway, here's the box. Looks a lot like the the uh, uh, 18 year box. Very kind of understated compared to some boxes I've seen. And then um, a few things here comes with a, a little pamphlet thing that I'll show you here in a second <clears throat> but uh, a beautiful bottle Let's see if I can show you the bottle there that the Yamazaki logo there and then in the back there's this raised raised etching it says Suntory and then there's a raised etching here with the with the distillery a lot of Japanese on there I don't know if this was uh, ever destined or is supposed to be destined for the United States um, I know I bought some some scotch and some whiskey from Master of Malt out of the UK and uh, many of them come with a little UK sticker on it because they're just they would never be shipped to the United States so I don't know what the story is behind this and if it will ever get shipped here or not but uh, anyway I bought it uh, from Japan and had it shipped here I believe this is a 700 milliliter bottle um, and I believe it's 43 percent uh, ABV um, so uh, on the bottle it says uh, Yamazaki Limited Edition. It's a special Yamazaki that is offered as a gift item. So what I didn't show, because uh, my son and I kind of broke into it, and he thought it was really fun, like a present. But when they ship the box, it's actually wrapped up like a present. It's a red wrapper with a bow on it even. Um, and the wrappers were kind of messed up. I probably would have kept the other two just in the wrappers, but they were kind of uh, split and everything, so we just took them out. Um the beautiful bottle, beautiful color, light in color. Um, from what I've been able to read, there's not really a lot of information on it, but one of the things that uh, kind of caught my attention was that uh, there is uh, some stuff in here that uh, to blend. I don't know what the percentage or how many different, but uh, there's some stuff in here that's supposedly around the 20 year range. Uh, again, this is a no age statement, so uh, there's no telling what else is in here. Um, but uh, it tastes amazing and uh, you know, I thought I'd share. I'm not the the most articulate when it comes to all the different flavors and things like that. I just know what I like, and I like that it's pretty good. Um, so in this, in the box, it comes with this little pamphlet thing, which would be really cool if I could read kanji. So here's the tasting notes as an example. If anybody uh, that sees this is uh, can read this for us and translate it. That would be fantastic. You can see the pictures at the bottom: strawberry, some cantaloupe. I'm not sure what that last one is. Maybe some kind of custard or orange juice or something like that. I don't really know. Um, 
I can definitely say from from tasting it, it's it's got a kind of a, fr a, a fruity thing. I don't know that I can necessarily pick out strawberries and cantaloupes per se, but it's really light. It's refreshing. It's got a little bite to it. It's it's a it's this very nice contrast. It's very smooth, um, but it does have a you know a nice little bite to it. So anyway, there's that. And uh, whenever I taste a new, I, I've been drinking out of these for a while. This is this thing called a Norlin glass. If you've never seen these before. I'll put a link to it down there. I bought it when they were doing like their crowdfunding thing, and I bought four of them. But it's this really cool glass. I don't know if you can see the inside of it, but it's like the best of both. It's kind of like a highball glass for when you hold it, but it has that really nice shape with a, a very traditional, um, you know, scotch or whiskey drinking glass, as you can see kind of from the inside, how it kind of goes up and then comes out. What's really nice about this is it's got this kind of real thick lip to it. So when you're drinking, it's, 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 it's a really, it's just a, it's just a cool glass. And what you probably can't see on the inside of there, maybe you can, there's these little fins. So as you're, you know, swirling or whatever, it just kind of does its thing. It's a great glass. Um, highly recommend. It's a good, uh, good conversation piece. It's, you know, and it, at least for me, uh, it, it gets the job done. Uh, so pour a little drink here. Smidge. And again, you know, you can see the color. It's light. Sort of almost a, a honey kind of color, really. Very, uh, if you've ever had any Yamazaki, there is a very distinct, from everything that I've ever, I mean, the, from the 12 year old to the 18 year old, uh, I've been very fortunate to be able to, to drink the, the sherry cask. Um, and, and now this limited edition, they all have a, have a real similar nose. Um, you definitely, I definitely can pull some sherry out of this for sure. I have a nose for that. Uh, sherry and port, uh, whiskeys and scotches are, uh, are by far my favorite. Uh, like a Balvini sherry cask is an example. Uh, of something that uh, is kind of a go-to for me. So this has a really, a really uh, nice nose. Again, you just get this real. You just, it's almost like, a, like a like a summer day, kind of a scotch or whiskey, you know, like a Glen Kinchy or something like that, where you just it's kind of a nice refreshing, you know, a little pepper, a little spice, and you get a little bit of that on the. Again, there's there's a nice bite to it, but it's very round, and and it's a it's a really long finish. And what I like about the finish is that it stops about right here. You know, it doesn't go all the way down into the into your innards. You know, and kind of burn and fester. It finishes about right here, so it's just this really nice, um, really really nice. And as and again, nice long nice long finish I definitely can see again where they're pulling out some of the the fruit notes I personally can't pick out strawberries and cantaloupes but but uh, my interpretation of it is that it's a it's it's very Yamazaki so if you like the profile of Yamazaki you will love this for sure um, it's not as smooth I would say just sort of overall fit and finish smooth as the 18, but it has really similar qualities to the 18 for sure. Um, again, a little more, a little lighter, a little fruitier for sure. And then of course the sherry influence as well too. Now the 18 obviously has a sherry uh, influence also. Um, but, uh, but just very, very, very nice. I wish it was more accessible and wasn't as expensive as it was because this is definitely something I could drink, um, you know, all the time, really, quite frankly. Yeah, super nice. I mean, you definitely get, there's almost a little bit, you know, I would call it maybe like a pepper or a, a spicy thing, but it's almost a little bitter, like in the back of the palate. But not in a bad way, you know, in a, in a good way with that. And it just goes along with that nice finish. This is definitely 
uh, a whiskey that would pair very, very well with a good cigar. Like I can think of, uh, you know, a handful of cigars, kind of a, a medium-ish body cigar, um, because this is a, a light whiskey, so I wouldn't I wouldn't smoke anything like really heavy, really strong with it. But a good kind of light to medium body cigar would go really well with this. Uh, definitely on a day like today, you know, a, a July summer day where it's a little warm outside. This is this was pretty refreshing actually. It doesn't it's not too heavy. Um, perfect finish, you know, not too short, not too long. Um, can't really say enough about it. It's really uh, really nice. If you have the opportunity to to grab a bottle or two or three or five or however many, I would highly recommend uh, doing that. So uh, anyway, cheers. Enjoy.